Hey guys, today we're gonna put in our Mitoway quick strips. That's the treatment we chose this year to use. We opted to do the 21 day plan. It's option two if you read the box. It's uh, put in one strip for seven days and then put in an, uh, another two strips later on for a total of 21 days. So it'd be 14 days after that. And uh, we're gonna show you what we did, how we're doing it. All right, so for this hive, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out the entrance reducer, and then under the super there, we're gonna add a shim with an entrance. And that's just to ensure that they have even more ventilation. Okay, so let's get into it. We have our beekeeping suits on, we got our gloves, and we put on a mask because Formic Pro and Mite Away Quick Strips uh, smell very strong. Uh, right here, I'm checking for any sort of pests hive beetles, wax moth. I just want to know before we put in uh, any sort of treatment for Varroa, what's up there and if there's anything else I need to do in this hive. And it's always helpful to work together. I'm gonna end up lifting the box while Lisa puts the strips in. Hi hey guys, welcome to the Rascal Apiary. Today we're treating our entire apiary with Max. That's Mitoway Cricks Quick Strips. And I'm gonna show you uh, first off that we have proper PPE, personal protective equipment. We have gloves and our masks so we're not breathing in these very strong fumes. Now I'm going to show you how to open them properly. There's two different application techniques so make sure you read the directions as with any kind of pesticide to make, ensure you're, you're doing it the correct way. Okay, so we have this what it looks like. There's two strips per package. What we're gonna do is cut on either end and then cut along this line here. That way it'll open up nicely. We can grab everything out. Why are we doing it that way? That, the, the strips tend to stick together and you don't want to break the paper coating that's around the strip. So if you do it this way, it kinda makes a little, sorry, makes a little tunnel. That way you don't have to worry about cutting the paper. Is this covered in the directions? It is. It is part of the directions. And there we go. We have two strips. No punctures to the paper. And this just, the paper helps ensure that the proper levels of the pesticides are coming out at the right time. There we go. Strip one, strip two. What does it feel like? Does it feel it's like kinda, you, you just got some meat from the deli store or something? It's kind of mushy. Uh, if you guys have used pollen patties before, that's kind of what it feels like, honestly. Kind of a little bit like pollen patties, but it's like if you were to put wax paper, maybe, over the pollen patties. That's what I would equate it to. Okay. I got the one ready. Okay. So as soon as you are, so I'll just come... And this is mistake number one. We uh, have done this now two years in a row where we put the strips in incorrectly. We were able to catch this mistake on about the third hive that we did. I looked down and I said, hey, that's not how you put those in. And we just kind of looked at each other and, and it's as easy as going back and just fixing the problem. And you already got the entrance reducer off the other Some one? Some bees were squished in this process. <laughs> we try not to do too many. You want to put the brick back on? Or... Oh, we had also forgot to put the extra shim in that has the entrance in the front. We like to add these shims so that the bees have more ventilation while they're uh, under treatment. It just helps lessen the amount of mortality that you have. 
thin as you are, so I'll just come. Not straight down. There you go. Done. Guide me. Yep. Keep, keep coming. Down. These are the cool entrance reducers that I made. You just put your tool in there. So again, as a reminder, please don't place the strips in line with the frames. They're supposed to be perpendicular, but look how quick this is. It's just as easy as I lift up the hive and then we throw the strip in there. And we go ahead and add that emery shim with the front entrance. That way the bees have just a little bit more ventilation. They can uh, ventilate out the bottom and right up there under the super. It's just easier for them. So this was something pretty cool we walked up on. Uh, one of our hives had essentially a traffic jam in the front. We had closed off the entrance and there's a flow going on right now. The elm trees are putting off a lot of pollen. You can see the really light pollen that the bees are bringing in. And then you'll see this golden pollen and that's coming from the golden rod that's also in bloom. So I went ahead and opened up this uh, reducer here and you'll start to see the traffic jam unjams itself, which is something that you want to see. Look at all this pollen coming in. This also gives you a clue that your hive is queen right. That means that the queen's probably laying a ton in there just from observing the outside. We don't even have to get inside the hive to figure this out. There's a lot of baby bees in there that are gonna need to be fed uh, bee bread. And this is how you can observe that without getting into your hive. And in this sped up rendition, we go ahead and add our Might Away Quick Strip. And you'll see this is the hive where I figured out, hey, we're putting it in wrong. And we go and have a chat and we look at the box and we go, oops, and we go ahead and turn it perpendicular. So it's that easy. That should do Here's it. the last hive we're gonna show you today. And you'll see I lift the hive box. Lisa's already got the strip perpendicular to the frames. Go ahead and throw it in. I wanna thank you guys for watching the video today. Hope your treatments go well. And you don't struggle as much as I did trying to get these hive boxes separated from each other. It's just heavy. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I it. See you next week. Hee 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 h